We do have some beautiful weather on the way, and we have some storms, and we have some, I guess you'd call it hot weather. So, hey, thanks for joining me on the second edition of the MLive Morning Weather Update, brought to you by Consumers Energy. Let's get right on into it. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa, and we'll start right over with the fact that we're looking at the, the western two-thirds of the U.S. Michigan is just on the far right side of the screen and what I want to show you is that the Pacific Ocean does have several storm systems and there's several across you know there's one just to our west that's going to really weaken I'll show that to you in just a moment there's a stronger one in the Pacific Northwest that will be coming toward us on Thursday um, as far as severe weather goes nothing outlined for us just yet fortunately this is uh, tomorrow, or today into Wednesday morning. Uh, storms off to the west. And then Thursday, we are under a slight risk of severe weather. All right, so now let's look at the radar uh, short term, and this is where the beautiful weather comes in. Uh, here's our radar forecast through the day. A light shower in the UP, and as we get toward late evening, and overnight, a shower at most. Wednesday, middle of the day, great looking weather. And then we start to see our first disturbance heading toward us. Looks like for Thursday. Um, and you can see a different nature to the storms, uh, more linear, and that's what can produce severe weather. Not sure that it's gonna happen just yet, but it's the kind of situation. I don't have any really big, strong uh, feel that something significant is gonna happen just yet. We'll have to see how it lines up. So now here's the big picture. And here is the Thursday. We'll look at it a little closer. Here's the Thursday cold front. It's coming through in the late afternoon and evening in the southern part of the state. That says uh, the possibility of uh, severe thunderstorms. Hey, good morning, Nick Schweitzer from the Orchard. Hope you're doing well, too. Hope your uh, fruit is doing well. Um, then, as that moves through, Friday and Saturday look quite nice. And the next storm system, this is the one that I'm kind of keen on. It's out in the southwest right now. And on Sunday, it's you know difficult to say exactly where it tracks. But Sunday into next week, we start to get into storminess. We also start to talk really hot weather. And the storminess can knock that down somewhat. It is definitely going to get warm. Now here's a little closer of a look. So again, overnight tonight, spotty shower. And then Thursday afternoon and evening, some thunderstorms. And then drive for Friday and Saturday and then we watch Sunday. Now look at this model, brings that upper disturbance in the southwest right over us Sunday night and Monday. Terry Larone from Israel. What's it like there? It's, I'm guessing, pretty hot there right now. Uh, now, let's get into the big picture. Okay, so this is the jet stream. And what you'll notice is the jet stream is cutting across northern part of the country. This is Thursday afternoon. Jet stream over us with the stronger winds, 125 to 150 mile an hour winds aloft. And then here is Sunday and Monday. Jet stream lifting north because of the hot dome, but still disturbances in it and still close. And that's what brings us those ridge runner thunderstorms, as I call it. Now here's the middle level flow 15,000 feet up as we go into late in the week we're still trying to shake these disturbances and then the weekend and that's a much different pattern that's an upper level warming pattern the ridge builds this is next week and that's why next week could have uh, should have our first 90 degree plus day or two or three now here's why I don't believe that it's you know, a permanent, long-lasting thing because we go to Sunday, June 23rd, and we've got uh, 
you know, a warmer than normal atmosphere, but also a flat west east flow with these embedded disturbances and thunderstorms. So that tends to knock down the hot weather in Michigan, at least for a couple of days. We get through a stormy period and then it will come back. So it's something we're probably going to build on over the summer, although we don't know that. You know, the hot weather can back up to the west in the western part of the country and we can remain cooler, but it's probably not likely. Today, I think you'd have to call it gorgeous. Temperatures in the 70s. And then Wednesday, in the uh, low 80s. And then Thursday, a lot of places, 85 to near 90 degrees. That cold front will be through, and Friday would be a touch cooler. Saturday would be very comfortable, upper 70s to near 80. And then Sunday, we'd start to warm. And Monday, uh, maybe some 90s in the south. And Tuesday and Wednesday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look pretty hot. Will it be 96, 97? I don't know. It depends always on if a thunderstorm complex comes into uh, our future. It can knock the temperature down. So I'm just going to say it's going to be very warm to hot, but we'll have to look and see. I, I do think that the southern half of the state will have its first one, two, or three 90-degree days next week. Okay, six to 10 day forecast tries to indicate that. Uh, bullseye on above normal temperatures in, south, in Michigan, especially the southern half of Michigan, and the eight to 14 day out to June 24th still continues high chance of above normal temperatures. And the three to four week out to July 5th still continues that as well. And the uh, hazardous weather outlook shows that excessive heat has a slight chance in the southern two-thirds of Michigan and a moderate chance just to our south in Ohio and Indiana. So it does look like it's going to heat up, folks. Um, it will be doing so over the next few days. Today's a comfortable day. Then we start to get into summertime weather. And we'll watch the storms on Thursday. We'll watch the storms, I think, Sunday night or Monday is probably a definitely one to watch because I've got I've keyed in on an upper air storm system that's in the desert southwest right now. It's going to lift out. On top of that jet stream, that could be a pretty active weather pattern depending on the timing of the day so there you go enjoy today enjoy the next several days they look fairly nice i'm m live chief meteorologist mark torregrosa and this has been the m live morning weather update brought to you by consumers energy have yourselves a great tuesday bye